attention holiday shoppers. I'm Scott Stein and this here in front of me is the Acer C7 Chromebook. Now you may be looking for a bargain basement laptop and at $199 this may be one of the cheapest options you find at a store. But before warned, this is not any normal laptop. This is a Chromebook in case you're not already familiar. It's Google's funny, funky side experiment, I would call it, in the realm of, of laptop-like devices that browse the web, but do it through a very focused channel. It really isn't a full-fledged device like a laptop, although it can do a lot of the things that it can, like email, web documents, um, even offline document editing, uh, built into a device that, again, looks a lot like a netbook. That's because it pretty much is, except with a different operating system inside. Now what you get here is a 320 gigabyte hard drive, which is a lot higher than what you'd find on typical Chromebooks. Samsung's Chromebooks that were released earlier this year used SSD up to 16 gigabytes, so 320 is a lot more storage space. But you can't dive into it the way that you can with a normal laptop. And what are you really storing on it? Well, it'll be more like downloaded movies, side-loaded movies, videos, pictures, that type of stuff, uh, music files and accessing them, you can definitely play them and you can play them when it's offline, but it's going to feel a little more like a very simple directory of files than anything that feels like a normal Windows-based operating system. Now, there are downsides to this device. Number one, the battery life, which is maybe as low as two and a half hours and maybe upwards of three, depending on how you uh, tweak your settings. That's really a lot lower than any tablet that's out there. Um, stay tuned for the full battery test that we do at CNET, but that's, that's a downside. That's a big downside, especially if you're flying in a plane and you want to be able to use this thing when you're traveling. On the other hand, having a little thing like this that you can just web browse from, and Chrome OS is very good at web browsing and at doing anything that you would normally do inside a, a browser in terms of flash-based stuff or any sort of um, you know, detailed online work. Well, that's all doable here, and the trackpad works well enough. The keyboard works well enough. It's not really anything shocking or surprising. There's an Intel Celeron processor in here, two gigs of RAM, but again, that's relative because the operating system is tuned to be much faster responding and quicker startup than your average laptop. And you do have Ethernet ports here. You've got HDMI, you've got USB, that full component. No Bluetooth, but you do have Wi-Fi, obviously, for getting online. And again, getting offline is a little bit of a tricky affair. You can do offline Google Doc editing, and you can use certain apps offline, but the Chrome Web Store which runs its apps are really web-based apps uh, that don't run exactly the way you'd expect, in my experience, compared to something you'd find on iOS or Android. All told, you're kind of getting what you pay for here. This is a $199 device that could be great in a home that just wants to surf the web and doesn't like the idea of a tablet, but don't expect anything like a bargain basement laptop here. This is a very different beast with a battery life that bears noting. I'm Scott Stein, and that's a look at the Acer C7 Chromebook.